Hi everybody, this video is a tutorial on how to use the Steam Controller for Warhammer 2 or any of the other Total War games. I've put a configuration on the uh, Steam Community area and this shows you how to put that configuration onto your device and then ta we'll take you through the various uh, buttons and configurations and the gyro uh, and show you how to use it in practice. I'll also put a chapter list so you can jump to the relevant area that suits yourself. So let's get on with it. Before we start the game, one thing that I must stress is to use some of the functions of this device, you must be in big picture mode in Steam. And I think that does cause some confusion with people. The device tends to work if you're not in big picture mode, but really to get all the programming and, and all the little shifts and all the clever stuff, you have to be in big picture mode. So to get into big picture mode, you see we're in the normal sort of um, Steam uh, front end here. If you go up to the top left here and you click view and you can click big picture mode. And there we are. We're in big picture mode. And then, as usual, you go into library, uh, and then you, you launch your game from here. So before we start the battle, I'll show you how to get the configuration onto your um, device. If you press the Steam button in the middle there, you come out into the uh, big picture mode. And then if you uh, go down to control of the configuration, press select with the green button. Uh, and then at the bottom there you see on the blue X it says brow browse configurations. Now this will be different for you because it um, will depend on what games you've got and what, um, what profiles people have put it for your community. I will put this configuration in the community bit uh, of Warhammer 2. I'll probably stick it in uh, Warhammer 1 as well so you can access it. It will be called um, I think version 1.4, it could be Sock Goblins version 1.4 or by then, um, so that's fine. So when you've, when you've got that, you select it where it says green there, import configuration, and then you select back. And then you select back again, all done, and then return to the game, select with the green, and we're back in the game. So here we are at the start of the siege battle, we've got a nice big lizard man army and a single lord um, in there taking refuge in a little house. Um, she's not going to be coming out bothering us anytime soon, so we can we can take you through the configuration for this device. So, firstly, the right hand mouse is configured as a mouse. Funny enough, the reason I say funny enough is actually because in the configuration you can configure this as a joystick, as a, a marble, a rollerball. But for this, for me, it works as a mouse. The left hand pad is configured as three buttons. Left, when you click, is Shift. Top is Alt. Right is Control. And the bottom is G. So if we look, so we could go select, press the Shift and select. And then we can press G to group them. Or then hold the Control and then we can pick whoever else we want to group and away we go that's that really important for these games total war games is camera control because you've got to be able to fly around the dance floor <laughs> the battlefield um, and that's where a mouse and keyboard walk works really really well so to emulate that on the steam controller the analog but uh, joystick is WASD and you can go around WASD, that's emulating the keyboard, and camera control. Now camera control, on the back of the uh, controller there are two buttons, grips, left and right grip. And in, in the way I've configured it, they, ask, they act as shift, mode shift buttons. It sounds very, very uh, fancy, but all they do is they change some of the functions on the front. So if I click and hold, and I'll hold it at the back, the left grip. Now that right mouse is no longer a mouse keyboard. It actually now emulates four buttons. So it emulates up and down and it emulates uh, left and right. So if you use that in combination with the um, analog joystick 
you can then start to fly around the battlefield so you can you can actually strafe around your people you can look around a bit like in a, in a first person shooter you know that's really really useful now one thing I did another thing that happens it's so quite important here is when you click and hold the left click the right mouse pad no longer works while you're holding it but the gyro is activated so now I can take my um, cursor my round the uh, battlefield and that using that and my mouse buttons I can very quite quickly select and move select and move select and move select and move and I find using this device that's a much quicker way of um, um, of controlling my um, my army when I'm, when I'm on the battlefield and actually that's the difference that's the main difference I think between this controller and things like Xbox 360s so a nice trick you can do with the gyro if you activate the gyro by squeezing the left back we select a unit and then click on the shift button hold the right mouse button and then with the gyro we can describe the path tell people where to go and they'll follow that path um, in a similar way you can do the same but using the mouse pad so you left click right click uh, sorry left click on the uh, left mouse pad right mouse button and then using the mouse pad you can do that as well just speed that up there they go it's that 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 gyro i think a lot of functionality we could explore with that okay so to show you the front buttons we'll start the battle so We select a unit, tell them to move, B, toggles run, so they're now running, let's get a little bit closer so we can see that, we toggle them off, they're walking, if I press X they stop, uh, Y is pause the game, which you use quite a lot, well I'm using quite a lot in the battles at the moment, um, so Right, so the only button I haven't, there's four buttons there, the one I haven't touched on is A. Now, A, I'm put put my mouse up there on the top left. A brings you, wherever you are on the screen, brings you to this the control cards. So wherever you are in the middle of the battle, if you press A, you come back to the control cards. Um, in a similar way, while we're at it, the two buttons either side of the Steam controller take you through to the two discs in the corner so the portal in, in the left corner so if I press this one the left one it takes me to there you see it's appeared in the uh, in the bottom section there and if I press the right one it takes me to there which is useful of course if you've got one of your wizards selected you can take them straight to the power of the wizard or the spells of the wizard or whoops um, you can take you uh, back to the with that one you can take to the cards okay so the buttons we haven't touched on are the shoulder buttons the ones in front of the mouse um, the shoulder button on the uh, right is space so that shows you uh, where your um, paused of course that shows you where your people will be when they finally arrive there and the one on the left is um, backspace or cancel the order. So if you've made an order, you, you can cancel the order by pressing the the one on the on the, uh, on, the on the left. So that's so we've covered that. Now the the only thing I haven't really covered here is the right click. So the right click, sorry, the right grip, which is this at the back here, does two things. Firstly, it shifts the function of the four buttons on the front. So, if I hold the right grip, Y tilts the camera up and down, 
sorry, down, and then uh, A tilts the camera up. So in that way, along with the, the zoom buttons, you can, you know, you have full control of, of the camera. Um, and H, sorry, uh, X goes to the tactical map and toggles off. You do that, and B zooms into your lord. So wherever you are on the dan on the um, battlefield, it zooms into your lord. Okay. If I hold the right grip, if I slide my um, thumb over the left mouse pad, it becomes either a selection for um, groups, one, two, three, four, five, or spells, one, two, three, four, five, six, which is um, useful. So if we, if we, for example, we um, group some of our guys, one, and I will group the wizard as uh, a group as well. Um, okay. So, uh, and if I hold, squeeze and hold the right pad, and then I choose group one by clicking on the pad, and then send them where they want to go. So I can pause my game. Send them where they want to go. Now the reason I, I, I group the wizard as a two because actually, it, when you're out in the battlefield, you can choose the wizard and then either select a spell from the menu and drop it down very quickly, or using the two um, uh, buttons that I showed you previously, you can jump quickly to his power selection or his. Um, is spell selection. So, just for a little recap, so you press and hold the um, the right pad, and then you you don't have to press on this. It sort of slides over it, and the position on the left mouse pad is the position where you choose the um, the groups or the spells. The spells are clockwise from the top, so it goes one, two, three, four, four, five, six, um, and takes you from um, one, oops, two, three. Four, five, six, uh, and then to activate the spell or the, or select the group, you click in on the mouse pad. Let's do that very quickly. So number one, click on him, and then we tell him where we want to go. And away they go. Okay. All of the controls that I've shown you so far uh, have been for the battle. Uh, there's another series of um, controls here for the campaign map. So if you click on the center of the, um, the right mouse pad, it changes from battle to campaign. So you're in the battle, click it, you're in to campaign, and um, there's some of the functionality changes on that. Uh, in practice, because the ba uh, campaign is not in real time like, um, like the battle is, it's less crucial. I, I find that you tend to either use the gyro and the mouse buttons to do a lot of the selection. But one thing to be careful of is if you if you think that this uh, the configuration is not working, just check that you're not in campaign mode, that you haven't accidentally clicked um, to to set you into campaign mode, and just click on the central um, right mouse pad, and um, and you will be back in uh, in battle mode. So I hope that has been of use to you. Um, I'm sh I'm not claiming to be uh, fantastic at this, but uh, I think it is of real use and I've been spending a lot of time, uh, a lot of years playing video games and uh, my uh, joints need a rest and this gives me that sort of, um, you know, rest from RSI and, and that sort of thing. The other side of it is um, to play this on a big screen in the lounge um, using this controller is absolutely excellent. Uh, you can get the full surround system going. It's absolutely brilliant, um, but it does take a bit of um, bit of perseverance to get to get some uh, some sort of um, control on it. Anyway, I'll finish off this game. I don't think it's going to end well for this single princess sat in her little castle. I don't think it's going to end well at all. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this. Hope it's been useful. Um, anything you'd like me to add or any explanations you'd like me to give, please um, ask the questions. Uh, in the video uh, in the content section below and um, have a great day thanks very much